Are you a struggling entrepreneur? Are you trying to figure out the trade? Are you so sick of being that normal person working your nine to five? Well, let me tell you, I used to be just like you till I got some knowledge. See, I went to the nearest bookstore and I bought some books. Then I ended up here and that's how it happened for me. Legit Nation, welcome back to another video on the channel, Legit Vlogs. My name is Tim and today we are going to have an amazing day today. We are here in the US Virgin Islands with the family, about to head to the beach right now. This is the most beautiful girl in the world and she's not even looking at the camera, she's not even paying attention. What are you doing? So right now we are currently making the beautiful walk to the beach. As you can see, the island is very, very green and there are lots of trees and shrubs. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of damage as you can see from the areas back here because story behind us coming to the islands is we were originally supposed to come last year but last year a hurricane came to the islands and it was one of the worst hurricanes like of all time it struck the island and it needed to repair so after one year they're still going through repairs but it's looking a lot better than it was last year and if you guys hadn't known we've recently been on st. Thomas we're staying on st. Thomas the house is in st. Thomas but today we took the ferry to st. John so we are here in st. John and I've seen the beach already it looks extremely beautiful and I can't wait to check it out because it looks amazing a coconut Oh, coconut. What if it's like a crab or something? Rebecca wants it? It's empty. Look, let me just see how. Nope, it's not cracking. More coconuts on the palm tree. I'm thinking of climbing it right now so I can get the coconut. All right, now everybody knows that I could get the coconut if I wanted to, but the problem is, is that there's a little bit of thorns right there and I don't want to risk getting cut because then if I go in the water and I'm cut and there's blood coming out, then a big shark's going to come and it might take a bite out of my leg. So I think it's best if I kind of don't climb the tree right now because of the thorns, but you know, I would. Uh-oh, no lifeguard on duty. That's why my dad came. You ready? Ready. Oh my gosh, this beach is completely breathtaking. This is the best one we've been to so far. St. John by far is my favorite and there's so many like rich houses up there. It looks like you are definitely in paradise here. Seriously, this is literally paradise. Like check out the, oh my gosh guys, just like the water, the sky, the sand, the scenery, there is no worries here on this island. When I'm back home stressing, I love to think about stuff like this and, and my goals and, and the, the things that I want to be in, where I want to be and finally we're here and it just really, really shows that hard work does pay off. <laughs> absolutely are I mean this whole beach situation is probably my favorite place on earth to be no worries no shoes no shirt no problems it's amazing we're in paradise we're swimming with the fishes blue waters blue skies it's all here we went to a second beach afterwards which I flew the drone and I got these amazing shots for y'all <laughs> Thank you. 
after the second beach we went to the third beach and as you can see I got burned all over but we did some snorkeling it was really deep and this is how it went <music> Life, by the way, I've never had a better time than now. This is the, literally the best trip I have ever been on in my entire life. But from here, things start to take a turn and start to go down. So we're going, and we have a, we can't even really order food because the restaurant system here is so crazy. There's hills everywhere, and it's been so difficult to drive because there are so many hills everywhere and bumps and everything. So getting past that was one thing, but when we go to Subway, because keep in mind, we went to KFC, Beth and my little sister didn't want KFC, so we had to go to Subway. When we go to Subway, man, some guy hits us from behind, and it's a hit and run. The dude literally said, it was like, I, I didn't hit it, I didn't hit it, I didn't hit it, this and that. Dude, it was so stressful, bro. So today, honestly, it's been cool, but it got a little stressful in the end, but... That is not going to ruin the surprise that I have tomorrow. And by surprise, you already know I'm gonna get my dad back for a prank that he did yesterday because there is no way that I'm going to let my dad prank me without me getting him back, without getting some revenge. So, tomorrow, as soon as we wake up, bright and early, dad, I'm coming for you. I know it's been a long day today, but dad, trust. I'm going to get you back very, very good. So you guys know that my dad's a gamer, so tomorrow we are going to target exactly that, his addiction of gaming, and we are going to be pranking him. And I'll see y'all guys in the morning. What's up guys, good morning. It is now the next day, and we are getting ready to prank my dad right now. I don't know where my dad is, I just walked out my room, but we're gonna be pulling the biggest prank on my dad yet. So let's go see where he is so we can prank him. So basically what I'm gonna do this morning, if you hadn't known, is I'm going to ask my dad if Nintendo Switch is in the case. My dad is a huge gamer. He absolutely has been loving the Nintendo Switch. He has not gotten off of the Nintendo Switch since we have gotten here. And so I'm gonna be like, Dad, you know, you need to stop playing games. You need to focus more on the island. We were on the island, we were in paradise. So dad, you need to start focusing on paradise and less on the gaming. So I'm gonna pretend like the Nintendo Switch is in the case in the Nintendo Switch case and I'm gonna throw it in the pool and we're gonna see how my dad reacts. Good morning mom. Good morning. Where's dad? Uh, he's in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom? Okay. Just got up right now and found out that my dad is actually in the restroom so it, it looks like he's not out here. The next thing I gotta do is I gotta find the Nintendo Switch and or at least the case anyways so we can do this prank by the time he gets out of the bathroom. So I gotta find this Switch. I have literally looked everywhere for this Nintendo Switch and I cannot find it anywhere. I don't know where my dad put it. I'm in my dad's room right now and the Nintendo Switch case is right here. But the only problem is that my dad is in the restroom and I can hear that the Nintendo Switch is on. He's playing the Nintendo Switch right now. So I gotta figure out a way to get the Nintendo Switch and act like I'm putting it in the case. Okay, I took the headphones and the games out of the case because I don't want them to like accidentally get wet when I throw it in the pool. Kind of stressing out just a little bit because I don't know how I'm gonna get that switch. I think my dad might bring it out and I'm gonna have to like tell him to put down the switch that it's ready to go or something like that just to make him believe that I need I need to get that switch. I don't know how I'm gonna get my hands on that switch. If I can't get my hands on the switch, I can't pull this prank and I need to do it for you guys. Yo, leave a thumbs up right now for this prank. Guys, just do it. I'm waiting for my dad to come out. I think he's coming right now. Dad, mom said it's time to go. What? Mom said it's time to go. Here, I'll put it away for you. Mom said it's time to go. Go meet her over there. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. I can't really put the switch in here. I'm just supposed to act like it's in there. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm tripping up. I'm getting too nervous here. I gotta go by the pool right now. I gotta set up the camera. And when he comes back, I'm gonna just dump it in. Dad, come here. Mom, Mom. Remember when you got me yesterday with the mattress? Remember when you got me yesterday with the mattress? Nintendo Switch is going in the pool now. Don't even. I'm not. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. It's empty. <laughs> it's empty. Why did you, why did you jump in? Why did you jump in? You know how long I had to stay to get that camera? <laughs> Are you serious? You really jumped in right now. You really jumped in. Oh my gosh. 
I can't believe it. Dad. That's the clothes you were gonna wear today? They're laughing at him. <laughs> They're laughing at him. <laughs> Dad, that's what you get for. That's what you get for uh, putting me on the mattress yesterday. The switches. No, 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 no. Does anybody have a towel? Dad just jumped in the pool. Does anybody have a towel? Why do you make him do that for? Because. I feel like he was throwing my switch in the water. <laughs> All right, Dad, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your real switch is over here. I just want to let you know that it's safe. I just put it right here, and it's safe. It's not very safe. I should hit you over the head with this. <laughs> it wasn't worth so much. <laughs> All right, now go change, and let's go. Let's go have a good day. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was the prank on my dad. If you enjoyed that prank, make sure you leave a big thumbs up. I don't think he's gonna get me back after that one. I think I took it a little too far. I honestly did not expect for him to jump in that pool. I thought that he was just gonna see it and be mad or whatever. I thought he would have at least noticed that when it was floating that it wasn't gonna sink and the switch wasn't in it, but I guess he didn't get that. So anyways, leave a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more, and we're coming back at you guys tomorrow with some more banger content, so stay tuned. I'll see y'all guys in the next one. Peace homies, stay blessed, we're out of here. What's up guys, thank you so much for watching that episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you smack up that thumbs up button and if you're not already part of the Legit Nation, hit that subscribe button, turn my post notifications on. I'm a 20 year old kid living in San Antonio, making my dreams become a reality. Join the journey and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one.